Amazing discovery of a huge super Jupiter gas giant just outside of our solar system. First ever directed observations. Planet outside of solar system revealed. The first ever look at a planet. Super Jupiter gas giant 129 light years from Earth and it's coated with a thick orange atmosphere. It's revealed after a new technique provides the world's first direct observations of an exoplanet. This is on Daily Mail, published by uh, Joe Pinkstone. The distant planet found to have a stormy atmosphere swirling with clouds made of iron and silicate. It's called HR 8799E, and it was first spotted in 2010 orbiting a star in the Pegasus constellation, and that constellation is 129 light years away from us. The analysis involved taking the light from four telescopes and combining them together to get the best data available. And light from the planet and its star was filtered apart using a new technique, which is the first time this technique has been used to directly study an exoplanet. Astronomers have studied this super Jupiter exoplanet 129 years of light years from Earth and found that it has a stormy atmosphere made of iron and silicate. This is HR 8799E, first discovered 2010, orbiting the Pegasus constellation. Now there are videos in here of that. You can see that I'll leave a link below for you. It was analyzed using a new method that combines the light from the four different telescopes, then combining them to show scientists directly uh, how to analyze the planet. The immense brightness of this exoplanet star often makes it impossible to view directly. That's why they have the planet direct, uh, covered by a black uh, circle and you can view what's happening outside of, this, uh, of its uh, uh, circumference. Usually scientists have, to, you'll see it in the video here, usually scientists have to employ indirect methods to study exoplanets because of the blinding light of their stars. Now, uh, this technique called, this is of course the drawing of this planet, is the artist's impression of HR 8799E, created from the data of the four different telescopes, filtered from the light of the planet and its star, uh, given, uh, taking them apart to get a detailed view of its atmosphere. The technique is called optical interferometry, allowed for four telescopes to work as one, and allow the further scientists to develop an imaging system sensitive enough to disentangle light from the planet and its parent star. Findings from Gravity, an instrument that combines four light beams from the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Infrarometer, VLTI for short, in Chile, appeared in the journal Astronomy and Astrophysics. It's a world unlike any found in our solar system, that's both more massive and younger than any planet orbiting our sun. You have images here, maps of where it's found. It's basically in the middle of the Pegasus constellation you see from the map. And you have a very uh, 19 seconds uh, video. You'll see that they have a little black disc over it because it's bright, they can't see otherwise. And you have this, these waves of gas or light radiating from this uh, huge planet. Now, Sylvester Lacour from the Paris Observatory in France and the Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics said, our observations suggest a ball of gas illuminated from the interior with rays of warm light swirling through stormy patches of dark clouds. Well, that's what it looks like. And he says, convection moves around the clouds of silicate and iron particles which disaggregate and rain down into the interior. This paints a picture of a dynamic uh, atmosphere of a gas exoplanet at birth, undergoing complex physical and chemical processes. Previous gravity achievements include last year's observation of a gas swirling at 30% the speed of light, just outside the massive black hole at the center of our galaxy, the Milky Way galaxy. So that's pretty fast, 30% of the speed of light. Now, what is the Very Large Telescope? The European Southern Observatory, ESO, 
built the most powerful telescope ever made in the Atacama Desert of northern Chile. It's called the Very Large Telescope, VLT, and is widely regarded as one of the most advanced optical instruments ever made. And you'll see a picture of it down here. It consists of four telescopes whose main mirrors measure 27 feet in diameter. There are also four movable six feet diameter auxiliary telescopes. The large telescopes are called Antu, Kuei, uh, Milepal, and Yepun. I don't know, maybe they're uh, Chilean names. Now, the first of the unit telescopes, Antu, went into routine scientific operations April 1st, 1999. The telescopes can work together to form a giant interferometer, and this interferometer allows images to be filtered for any unnecessary obscuring objects, and as a result, astronomers can see details up to 25 times finer than with the individual telescopes, and has been involved in spotting the first images of an extrasolar planet, as well as tracking individual stars moving around the supermassive black hole at the center of our Milky Way galaxy. It also observes the afterglow of the furthest known gamma ray burst. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.